So food was a dead end for me. And then I try sort of drugs and alcohol and that becomes a dead end. And then I somehow at 20 years old, you know, my desire had always been to sort of supersede um, people's image of what a child actor is or the funny fat guy. I just wanted to be an actor. I just wanted to be a grown up. I just, I, I, I didn't want to be a movie star. I didn't want to be anything too impressive. I just didn't want to have to like fight this origin story of mine and be relegated to like, just like the cornball stereotype. So I do this movie called The Wackness and it goes to Sundance and it's me and Sir Ben Kingsley. And it's like this thing that I'm so proud of. And I had been to the Sundance Film Festival at 16. I remember like making this vow to myself, like one day you're gonna come back here as a star of, of a movie. And I was, and I'm like at the screening and Tarantino's there and all these people and it goes great. And I go to bed that night and I wake up and I'm like, oh no, I'm still here. Like somehow I thought I'd wake up the next morning and I'd be all better. And that like shitty committee that woke up a few minutes before I did every morning would just be like evaporated, Mm -hmm. but it was still there. And it like just proved this hypothesis I'd had my whole life, which was like, I am bottomless. Like, and now like, yeah, we know food wasn't great and obviously drugs and alcohol, but like, this is success. This is prestige. This is what I thought I'd always wanted. And even then I was still feeling utterly like incomplete. So that was sort of when I started doing that inner work journey through through 12 step and more growth where I was like, I got to work on the inside because nothing out there is going to make me feel okay. Yeah, focus on the dopeness. Don't focus on the whackness. Uh, it, dude, the whackness is probably my favorite, like most underrated movie of all time. Mm. Everybody oh, needs man. to go watch this. No, dude. So here's the thing. I've we were talking before you got on. I don't think I've ever really watched a Nickelodeon show. Period. Like like let al- not you know let alone Drake and Josh. I've never seen that. So. When I uh, when I watch the Wackness, I just see you, you know, as this you know this young actor. I didn't know anything about your previous work, so I I got like the best experience possible. And dude, like you and Method Man, uh, you and selling you know weed in the park, like <laughs> dude, this shit that is the music, dude. The opening scene is Nas, uh, the world is yours, uh-huh. this, dude. This is one of the best movies like ever. Like everybody has to go watch this, but. What I wanted to ask, dude, is like, how did that even come about? Just because I feel like, um, just because like the way the business is, you know, like um, the whatever, I'll just say like Jim Carrey, like, oh, he's going to be the funny guy. It's going to be hard for him to break into a serious role, even though he can. But for you, it's like, oh, here's this, you know, young, young, funny guy. Like, how are we going to make him like this star of this, sh- this, uh, this movie? And like I said, dude, if you guys haven't seen it, like everybody has to watch this fucking movie. It's so good. But yeah, how did it come about? Uh, well, I appreciate that, dude. And, and yeah, absolutely. And people that love that movie, it means a lot to me. But yeah, I, you know, I was also fresh off this kid show that only kids had watched. Right. It wasn't like it is today where sort of it's continued to hit generations because it's a pretty simple idea. It's a, It was about a family. It was about two brothers who were like totally opposites and they have to figure out how to coexist. So at this time, the show had been on for like three years and only 12 year olds watched it. So the director of the Wackness didn't know me from anything. He just was like, can you play this like hip hop loving, you know, slightly drug addicted, um, you know, 18 year old with too many feelings. I'm like, I'm from New York. I enjoy drugs. I love (laughs) hip hop. I was like, I might just be your perfect candidate. And I remember like at that time I was going against, you know, guys who who are so far beyond me, even to this day, Jonah Hill and Miles Teller and all these like, you know, actors who crush it. But I just remember like knowing they were all going for this part and thinking I might just be right for this. Mm -hmm. Like I might be uniquely qualified for this role. I know you're enjoying this clip, but listen up. We have this beef company, Piedmontese Beef, that no matter what diet you're doing, whether it's low-fat, high-fat, carnivore, keto, whatever, they have perfect cuts that are going to fit your diet perfectly. And the cool thing, Andrew, Mm -hmm. 
less connective tissue. So you're not going to have those grisly, nasty things that you have to spit out when you eat beef. That's what those are? That's what those are. Oh, and so, Piedmontese doesn't have that. They don't have that because the cows are jacked, lack of connective mm -hmm. tissue, buttery when you cut into it. Amazing taste. So Andrew, how can they get some Piedmontese? Yes, sir. It's over at Piedmontese.com. That's P-I-E-D-M-O-N-T-E-S-E.com. At checkout, enter promo code POWER for 25% off your order. And if your order is $150 or more, you get free two-day shipping. Again, that's at Piedmontese.com, promo code POWER. Let's go ahead and get back to this podcast. And I couldn't believe it. And Ben Kingsley is my favorite actor. That's like yeah. starting like your rookie season with Michael Jordan. I couldn't believe that I was like with this dude and he was the best. It, it was, it was the best experience. Mm -hmm. Did you learn anything from him? Yeah. I, I mean, I, I talk in the book. I, I asked him on my last day of filming, if he had any advice and he kind of looked at me like, are you really asking me this? And I was like, I, ne I never met my dad. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but he said, you know, he was like, find your apostles. And I was like, I'm Jewish. I'm not sure that's in the Old Testament. A little confused. Um, and he was like, find your apostles, like find people that you can not only rejoice with, but will be there for you in your difficult periods. And when you are in a room and you feel like someone doesn't support you and is looking out for your best interests, leave immediately. And, and I still think of that to this day, like an apostle is someone who's willing to hurt your feelings in an effort to do what's best for you. And, uh, and yeah. And so I guess Sir Ben was like my first apostle. So, Pat Roger family, I hope you enjoyed this clip. We are on Discord and Reddit. We're trying to talk to you guys and build a community down there. So, the links are in the bio. But remember, like, comment, subscribe, share this out with people so you can share the wealth of health. As cheesy as that fucking sounds. Peace.